Hey, what's going on? This is Big Grime. And today I'm going to show you how I use Zeta 2 VST as a drum synthesizer. Now, I use it in a little different way. I've been trying to uh, look through different like drum synthesizers. I want to create my own drum sounds and be able to use it uh, very quickly. I'm going to show you how I use Zeta 2. So I'm going to level one up now. I'm just going to use the presets. So basically, I'm just going to go to percussion. I'm going to start off with a kick. Uh, all right, I'm going to start with this. Now, when you load this up, this kick sound is going to be on all the keys, no matter which key you press. Now, of course, that's not. I want to try to use it in the same way I would use, let's say, a drum sampler, being able to do a kick snare at the same time and not all not have one sound all over the keys. So what I would do is um, I'm gonna load up, I'm gonna go ahead and load up another Zeta and I'm gonna load up a snare sound. Yeah, let's, let's use that. All right, so I want to be able to use that kick sound off one Zeta and use this snare sound on this Zeta at the same time. Now, I want to narrow that sound, the, the kick sound, to, to the C key on my keyboard. So what I would do is go to my MIDI track of the kick, load up the MIDI plugin, MIDI event filter. This is designed to filter out MIDI messages. So I'm going to filter out all of the keys besides C3. So I click on notes. And at the bottom right here, this is going to show you where you will start to be able to, uh, you know, press the key. I want to start at C3 because I just want it on C3. And I want to end it off on C3. So that way it just narrowed down to be able to just play on that one key. So now when I press other keys, it don't do anything, it's just on C3. Now I do the same thing pretty much on the snare. I'm just gonna copy and drag over the same plugin. And when I do that and put that on the snare, it's also gonna put that snare on C3 now. Because I because it when you copy the plugin, it copies the settings too. So I open that up. Now I want to put this, the snare, on C sharp. So I can hit the the, the next key. So I'm just gonna put that up to C3. Sharp. Now when I hit C sharp, I just get a snare sound. When I touch all the other keys, I get nothing. Now, I want to be able to play the kick and the snare at the same time. So, what you do is you go to the MIDI track. You go to the MIDI track. And you click on Input Echo. And do the same thing for the other track. Now, you should be able to play both sounds at the same time. See, now if you want to record, you just click on record for both tracks. Let's just do input quantize for both, just the sake of doing it. All right, then hit record. So that's just a little demonstration how I use. So if I want um, hi hats, I just load up another Zeta, find a hi hat sound, or create a hi hat hi hat sound, and then use the MIDI, the MIDI event filter to filter it to the key that I want to use it on. All right, and then you can save it as a track template. 
That way, you can just load it back up, and it will load auto settings and everything. So you pretty much will be saving it almost like a preset. It will automatically load up all your Zetas and the MIDI event filter and everything. All right? So this is Big Grime, and that's pretty much how I use Zeta 2 as a drum synthesizer. Peace.